everyone, Shayla here. Today I'm going to talk a bit about EBSCO, which is one of our other online databases. It works very, very similar to Explora, but the key difference with EBSCO is that you can pick and choose which databases to search, and there are also a lot more to search. So I'll go over that and how to do that. So let's get into it. I'm going to open up EBSCO. So here we are at the EBSCO page. And so there are a lot of different places that you can go from here. But for right now, I'm going to hit all EBSCO resources from NH. EW link. So that'll bring up the EBSCO search engine and all of the potential databases to be searched there. And so now from here, you can choose which databases you would like to search from. So each one has a different collection and a different function. So the one at the top here is designed specifically for public libraries. So that's just kind of like an everyman. Newspaper source has a whole bunch of different newspapers, both from the US and international newspapers. Health source provides consumer health information. Ultra school edition, this one is designed for high school libraries. So you're going to get high school magazines and stuff in here. Middle search plus, same thing, but for middle school. Primary search, same thing, but for elementary school. New world encyclopedia. Professional development edu collection, this is generally for professional educators, education resource information center, again, for educators. Topic search. So what topic search focuses on is it focuses on current issues. So like if you were doing a paper on like abortion or gun control, uh, you know, some just divisive uh, issue like that, I would highly recommend you use topic search. In regional business news, they do business stuff. Same with business source, business publications, academic search. I use that a lot in college. So that does mostly full text, academic, journals, that kind of thing. Green file is for human impact to the environment. So if you're doing a paper on renewable energy, you're probably going to want to search green file. Library information science and technology abstracts, that's for people like me, for librarianship, cataloging, classification, that kind of thing. So if you're interested in being a librarian, maybe you could take a look at that one. Right here you have uh, AHFS consumer medication information. That's generally drug information. So, you know, if you have something that you're taking, and you just want to see like what the side effects are, what clinical trials, you know, that kind of thing. You would want to search that one. Uh, ebooks, EBSCO has a full text of ebooks that can search. Same thing for middle school, same thing for elementary school, and same thing for high school. Down here, more ebooks of reference collection and consumer health reference collection that are uh, also ebooks. So those are all of the various uh, that you can look, search for. If you're doing like a really targeted search and you only want to like, search for one database because what you're looking for is pretty specific. You can just click uh, one of them and that'll only search one of them. Or you can click multiple and then continue or you can hit select or deselect all and do it that way. So for now, I'm just going to hit master file premiere and it's only going to search that one. So up here it says we're only searching master file premiere and the search options down here is pretty much almost exactly the same as we have in Explora. It's got the search modes, limit your results, and it's only searching one database. So you don't have to go through all of those different things there. So I'm going to say I want full text. I want peer reviewed. So um, just for fun, I'm going to look up the what they have on the Dewey Decimal System. And I'm going to hit search. And so yeah, basically it works pretty much the same way as Explora does. We have the same thing over here. Here, if I click this, it's going to bring us right to the detailed record, which is going to give us the subjects, the authors, the source, document type, the abstract, ISSN, that fun stuff, and all the same tools over here as Explora. And if I want the full text, I click the PDF and here it is. So now I'm going to head back to the result list. And we, there are also, uh, some of them have HTML full text options. Uh, so I'm going to click that and show you what that's like. And again, this is a very similar layout. I have pretty most of the same features as Explora. It has the audio player where it will read it for you in whatever voice you want. And again, same tools over here. And uh, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and you can head back to the result list and the refined search and everything down there and uh we're gonna head back so that is EBSCO host. If you would like to not have to click through all of those different databases, I'm just gonna go back to the main page here 
if you're looking for specifically business resources, adult services, so that would cover like the public library database, the health resources, if you're looking for children's, young adult topic search, you can click those links specifically and, and not have to go through the giant list of databases and have to individually click on every single one. So that's about it for EBSCO. I hope that this video was helpful and informative for you guys. And if you have any questions, you can leave us a comment, email us, text us, call us, anything. And I'll see you in the next video.